Hi, I'm Alejandro Martinez. I am CEO and co-founder of Matrix DS, and today I'm going to show you how to build, deploy, and share a lightweight web app using RStudio Shiny on Matrix DS. So let's get started. As you can see, I'm in my Matrix DS account, and I'm just going to go ahead and create a new project. And I'm just going to call this Shiny Video and create an empty project. You can see right now there's no files in it. I just created this project. We're completely empty. I'm just going to move over to the Tools tab and create a couple of tools. So the first one is going to be an RStudio tool and the second one is going to be a Shiny tool. And so when we create tools, what we do is we provision infrastructure with those resources to this particular project. And creating a Shiny tool actually does a little bit more than that. It goes back to your files tabs and creates a couple of files. And you can see there's a directory now called Shiny Server. Essentially, uh, the way the Shiny tool works is that the Shiny container that we just created mounts and deploys anything that's inside that Shiny server folder. And when you create a new Shiny tool, if there isn't a Shiny server folder existing in your project, Matrix DS will create one for you and give you our template app that we've created. The template app is very simple. It's essentially our studio's template Shiny app with some slight modifications that we'll go through in a few minutes. But let's test this out. There's an app in there, uh, and it's the it's a shiny web app, and let's just look at it first. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this, and you can see it's the old faithful geyser data that our studio provides as a template for shiny apps, and it's completely reactive, which is very cool, and it's all built in our programming language. So now let's go back to our project and open up our studio and see what's actually in there. So I'm going to navigate straight to that app file, app.r, and open it up. And I'm going to walk you through the modifications that we made. The first modification that we made is telling the RStudio container where to find the libraries. So any library that you install here on your RStudio container will be available to the Shiny container because now it knows where to look for them. It's going to go look for them in the R libraries. The next thing we did is create this variable called production true. And so that allows the container to know the path, the correct paths to either the files inside your project or the container, the shiny container. And when production is set to false, your app will run using this button. And when container is set, when production is set to true, your app will run in the shiny tool that you've created outside. The beauty about creating this outside shiny tool in your Matrix DS project is that we can toggle this public button and what that does is it exposes the URL for the shiny tool out to the internet to anyone who wants to ping it and you don't have to be a Matrix DS uh, user to be able to consume shiny apps that are built by Matrix DS users. And so what that would do is it would make this URL now available to anybody who wants to come and see this particular shiny app and play with its reactivity. And just uh, the last thing I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to make this project public so that people can find it and use it and fork it. And the way to find that is if you're a Matrix DS user, just go to the search bar here and search for a Shiny Video. And you should be able to find this project and fork it and use it for whatever you want. That's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for your time. And I'll see you on the next video.